Hello. Hi. What up? It's your boy Rodney Perry. Um, I gotta make sure I look at you. <laughs> so uh, wait till you see this. So Lisa Laird, we're um, we're on the set mm -hmm. of uh, um, Jay Davis production. Um, <laughs> you're a comedian. Yes. But you're an actor. Yes. Which one do you love the most? Ooh, I grew up on stage, so I don't know. That's hard. Yeah. That's like when in a, what's that movie, Brown Sugar, when Queen Lights people was like, I first fell in love with hip hop. That's right, how right. it is with That's comedy. how I feel. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, it's, it feels just like I fell in love with it, and it was crazy. And like to mix the two, uh -huh. it's like. That's like the ultimate orgy right there. Come on now. Come on now. Now, um, uh, this is an era of girl power. You see, you know, women empowerment all through the industry. Um, are you feeling that in comedy? Because it could be a boys club sometimes. It is always a boys club, but <laughs> the girl's going hard. So, yeah. you know, we busting through and shutting them down and letting them know, like, oh, no, it's not you're funny for a girl. It's, oh, this chick is hilarious. Right, right. And, and, and like... I personally like women on my shows, um, you know, when I play comedy clubs and stuff. Um, are your male peers reaching out to you? Yeah, yeah. Over the years, um, especially when um, the more seasoned vets come out and they're like, dang, I say you, you done stepped it up. Like, right. oh, we gonna work and we work. Like, that's when I knew things had started to change for right. real, for real. Cause you know, you can be funny, but you gotta be funny like the boys and when the boys mm -hmm. start noticing that you funny it's you know, it's, it's all good yeah yeah so so let me tell you this i i know we can be sexist as men what's the most absurd thing you've heard outside oh. of the random dick pic oh um, <laughs> man it's you know what it's it's really just always the same for real it's always uh you after the show you know what I'm saying you're trying to Maybe go to my room and have a couple of drinks, you know, see what happens. See what happens? Yes. yes. Oh my I God. mean, so just out of nowhere, though? Like, I guess. Because, you know what? When I go on stage, I love to look pretty and I love mm -hmm. to be sexy because when I'm on stage being sexy, there are ladies in the audience, they looking sexy and we just sexy and funny and having right. fun. And then for some reason, it's I, empowering on some level. It is. Yeah. But. Because my boobs out, dudes like, hey, yo, you know what I'm saying? My next show, you want a headline? You want a headline? You know Literally. I'm like, I no, no. I get what you're saying, sir. No, I don't wow. want to do that. Yeah, Man, you know, talking to my, my, my female friends, you know, in the game, it's crazy the stuff y'all get, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, like you say, how, how, how guys come at you. Um, do you. Do you see that changing? In terms of, like, as you as you ex go higher and higher, is it worse or is it better? No, I will say that. The higher, like, after TV credits and stuff like that, and when people came to see you, then people are like, oh, no, you know, don't come at it like that. Be respectful. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like, respectful. oh, okay, okay. Right. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so, so, on a whole nother note, uh, do your female peers show love because yes. it you know that it was a point when like you know women was your was was a woman's own worst enemy sometimes yeah I, you know what i've been blessed enough that i haven't experienced that like with my girls like man we be vibing like we can't wait to see each other we be so busy working being moms and being wives or girlfriends or whatever and just our personal lives when we get to get together on personal levels or on comedy, it's always love. So right, I'm right. blessed enough to have experience. Like, if I can't get to a show, I'll call one of my girls. Hey, yo, you in town? Can you do this? Or, hey, you in town, Lisa? Can you do this? You free? We got it. Yeah. Now, does a woman sacrifice love and relationship for this game? Yes. I Since I've taken comedy seriously, it's just been me and my daughter for, like, the past maybe five or six years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. It's I, like, I mean, is that just part of the dedication or... You know, is that I mean, I mean, we all make sacrifices, of course, I've made sacrifices, but I don't think I've ever had to sacrifice a relationship for the game, I and it seems like that's like par for the course for women. I think that uh as far as women go, 
it's harder because men are like, oh man, you always with all these dudes or you always gone or man, when I'm going to see you, we got to be after 11 o'clock at night or what was you doing to 2.30? I literally might not, the show was supposed to, supposed to start at 9, it didn't start till 11.15, right. we kicked it afterwards and I just got home. And the kick it is part of it. It is, because that's the how you know it. That's how you get to know people, because it's like, yeah. if we're not shaking hands and kissing babies, then what are we doing? Wow. Because people have to know you personally, too, because you just can't be the person on stage. You have to be a person. You have to be a person. So, it's wow. part of the and job. Some, <laughs> wow. Well, you're killing the game. Uh, our seeds are, are crazy. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so I can't wait for y'all to see it. Yeah. Lisa, very dope. Yeah. Thanks, Appreciate buddy. you.